Um, I'm Much Paranoia, and this is the Zelda Classic Randomizer, uh, Randomizer Returns. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, ZC, ZC is a standalone program that's designed to allow you to make your own Zelda 1 style quests. It's, um... Oh, that's what it used to be, but now it's been, uh... Upgraded so that you can script things, and one of the things that we had that's been scripted is this, this randomizer, randomizer returns. Now, uh, about this flag set is, uh, about this, about this flag set, uh, we, this particular qu uh, quest is what they're called. Is the dungeon set is random, so we have 21 sets of dungeons, and nine of them are selected randomly from all those sets. So they're gonna be all jumbled up, and uh, dungeon styles are all mixed up. So you can have Z1 style, or I mean, Quest One or Quest Two style dungeons, and uh, and the overworld layout is randomized. Every screen square has a secret. But if it's like the quest one or quest two seeker or somewhere in between, we do not know yet. Now, I think we're going to begin start here in just a moment. But just for preliminary, we don't know what we need to enter level nine. It's random, but we do need certain things to beat Ganon. We need a sword, we need the bow, and we need silvers. Those are guaranteed to be needed, because you can't be you can't stab Ganon without a sword. You can tickle him, but you can't stab him. And we're replaying on normal difficulty. No, this is a race. Yep, there's dungeons from BS Zelda and Zelda Outlands in here, and we're off. Looks like we're starting just below the. Uh, the six armoses that are uh, second class level two, and we get a fire book as our first item. Now I believe, yep, just throw fire at your enemies, throw all the fire, and uh, we're checking up it out, and it's uh, um, I don't know what level it is. It is a level. I. Th I think this is a BS level. Uh, I think this is Outlands. This is definitely Outlands level. There's the uh, wooden arrows. Uh, mm, just uh, some. Uh, and someone has picked up some bombs. Uh, oh, the raft is the other item. That get lets us check two places in particular. And I don't know if Hero Fire has uh, some dungeons that require the raft. In this uh, particular uh, set. So raft may be needed for dungeons. And since we don't know what exactly we need to uh, enter level 9, they're probably going to pick up while... Now... Uh... Let's see... They're both making their way through. Yep. And, um... I think they're trying to find their way over to that uh, raft at the moment. They're also, I think each dungeon needs a big key in order to complete it. So, just so you know. Yeah. Looks like Melee Wizard's the first to pick up the raft. Um. 
Let's see Knuckles taking out those Stalfoses to just find some rupees. They still need the big key. And some blue gorillas. Now... Doesn't appear like there's anything in this room. <laughs> Melee Lizard is just leaving. Oh, so it's E1 style? They don't need uh, the big key? See, I'm used to the other randomizers for this. That hero fire is done. He's done a ton of them. Um, Moldorm's going down to some fire, and we find a heart. That will be useful later. Because we don't know exactly what the sword caves require. Unless they're just, you know, standard. And we find level 3. Which level 3 this is, we don't know yet. No, oh, it has ropes. A ton of ropes. Now, as uh, Melee Wizard barbecues some uh, snake, it looks like... Yep, it looks like uh, SC Knuckles is going to go take care of the boss here in level 1. Okay, and Melee Wizard picks up the sword as uh, SC Knuckles picks up the first Triforce piece of, the, of this race. Whether it's useful or not, we don't know yet. But it is interesting to note that since they started off with a fire item, they can just burn all these uh, bushes and don't have to worry about finding a candle or anything. And that's where, uh, and that's where melee wizard pick up the heart picked up the heart. So, uh, okay. Let's see Knuckles entering uh, a fifth quest. Uh, level five, uh, level five entry, uh, level three here. Yeah, it's pulling custom-made dungeons from a pool instead of gen randomly. Gen because there's been a lot of uh, different uh, quests for this uh, randomizer, so there's a lot to pull from. Pull from. Not, not randomizer. A lot for this program, so there's a lot of quests to pull level one levels from for level sets. And every level has two items because the uh, item pool is expanded from normal Z1. So we're, we can see a. Uh, a lot of different things, including that fire. But unfortunately, we have a dig dogger blocking the way in level three here. So, uh, looks like melee wizard has decided to abandon ship here and go elsewhere and finds a door repair charge. Ever. Uh, um, SC Knuckles probably hoping to find. Uh, I mean, to be too disappointed by what he gets when he finds it. Ooh, dying to those, uh, though. And melee finds the take it. Okay, that deposited him out at the grave. Oh. By the lake. And where, where's the last one? Okay, uh, up on Death Mountain. These blue windmills just going down in two hits. That guy looks for sword. And he finds a potion shop. I... Now. Head back to level three. 
will uh three there, not picking up his magic. May a wizard being sent back to start by a blue or a red one. Either way, they hit for a lot, this certainly. I see Knuckles picking up a sword. Prone the shop. Don't know if, uh, yeah, no. Melee wizard's not buying anything. Let's see, burn this. And Knuckles finds to take any route. More bush burning. And finds a hundred rupee secret is uh not uh, as melee wizard is checking out the uh, bottom left corner of the map. Here, have a freebie. Mm -hmm. Now Three BKs are interesting because you can take one of anything, and uh, depending on what you have at any point in time, you may want to take, you know, a, the key or the meat, and occasionally the shield, providing a lot of whiz rope heavy uh, dungeon. But that's very dependent, and no one's going to pick up the blue candle because, again, they start with fire. They start with a book. That has fire. And Melee Wizard picks up the letter. That will is a hero fire noted access to the curiosity shop and the potion shop. So that is pretty good. That could give some uh, really nice uh, items for uh, Melee Wizard to pick up. These desert screens, I believe, do you all have a secret? I believe one or two of them requires a bomb, and the rest just require the flute. And that was just a 10 rupee secret. What do we have here? We have a money-making game. No thank you. Buy medicine before you go. Hmm. Let's see Knuckles finding another buy shop. Arrows are really expensive. Thankfully, they drop pretty easily. Oh yeah, that's another thing that was added in for added into the uh, Z, um, ZC is that you can have a uh, you know you can have arrow counts and things separate from uh, using rupees for your arrows. You still have to pick up the wooden arrow or the silvers in order to use them, but you have a quiver instead of pulling from your root people. Nothing up here in the northern corner. Yeah, not going for it. Ooh, the ladder in the shop. Yeah, melee wizards not going to say no to that. And we have found level 9. What do we need to enter? We, we need the hammer. So those Triforce pieces are not necessary. We need a hammer. Yeah, I believe Hero Fire has a lot of different level 9 musics that he uses in a lot of his quests. For all of his randomizer quests. So we can't enter level 9 without the hammer. We need a hammer to get in.
and we still and we still need the bow. We still need silvers. Melee wizard doesn't have to worry about gaining a sword because he has the magic sword. And that that will do fine for Ganon. We still need to find uh. But we still need to find those, so we need to find dungeons and uh, check them. I see Knuckles saving quitting because uh, not many good options where he was at. Re-entering level one, and I know that uh. Has anyone checked the, uh... Well, there's two items, yeah. But, but no, I don't think the, uh... I don't think the raft was ladder-locked. I'm pretty sure Melee Wizard picked it up, didn't he? I think we'll see the next time he opens his, uh, menu. Meanwhile, uh, Melee Wizard just finding all the door repair rooms. That's uh, a rupee room. And more bombs for 100 bucks. Yes, please. Now, this room requires you to be able to push that block, so... Now, I don't think anyone has checked the Armos item up on uh, Death Mountain yet. That could be some... ...ending. And we have a heart container. Dungeon hunting. Any luck, uh. They'll find something interesting. Just keep burning bushes. Repairs are in the in the seat on this flag set hero. Okay, okay, we have a secret. Mm, nothing. We're finding all these repeat shops, and not the dungeons we want because those dungeons could have items. I believe this is, oh, I see Knuckles naming, checking uh, what he needs. And the power bracelet is one of the, uh, is one of the sword items. That might be a little unfortunate, depending on what's hiding underneath those rocks. And now I see Knuckles is finding now that he doesn't have to worry about Triforce pieces. He just needs the hammer. Just uh, 
Just for fun. Now, more repeat shops. <laughs> yep, that is true. Specifically, that hammer. Oh, the hook shot. Hey, for uh, 230 uh, rupees. Mm. Oh, that's a. Uh, well, that has to be a little disheartening. Gonna need some money. Let's see Knuckles bombing up in this room and finds level two. And I believe this, I believe that uh, outline at the start of level two is indicative of uh, the level layout. Now, which level two from what set is this level two hero? These levels dying real fast, really. That's are these fires. And that's just some bombs. We got some of those ropes. Fire ropes at that. Not particularly frightening ones. This could be big for uh, S.C. Knuckle. This is a... Oh, no, it's the spider. I thought it was... It's the spider. So Cloud Second is the spider. Picks up a key. And we see another key right there. Oh, and the raft is necessary in here. In case they're... they're, they're... Ladder gets some 10 rupees, too. Uh, okay. Kill these fires, and go check out what's in the next room. And this could be big for SC Knuckles, because Melee Wizard left, uh, abandoned this, uh, this portion of the dun portion of the overworld. That's the second Triforce piece. Getting it, and probably going back right in, because there's still two items to get in here. Melee Wizard still hunting for levels. Hero's the one who made this. Ooh, and Melee Wizard finds level 5. Not quite sure which level 5 it is yet. Desert Clean Rubble 5, and that's a uh, three headed Gliok. Picking up the compass after already getting the Triforce piece. That feels very familiar. We have some Pole's voices over on uh, Melee Wizard's side. That's a 10 rupee. And he, and he hugs a bunny, or the bunny hugs him. More wizards. More wiz robes. Oh. Okay. Point of order, these uh they they do hurt. Do not hug the fire. And just finds a key down here in the corner. That kind of means that it looks like all of our items are hiding up in the uh upper left. Left. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, damn, don't hug these bunnies. They'll kill you. Uh, but no, uh, that, 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 that could be one of X-8's quests. Because that is usually achieved by stacking a bunch of Gleox on top of each other. Oh, and Melee Wizard picking up the flute. Or a flute. That gives him access to a ton more secrets. Okay, we have a Moldorm up here, saying in the corner. Finding level B! I believe this, this is one of the... This is a... Hmm, I believe this is from a... A demo quest. Melee Wizard just noping right on out of there. I don't blame him. And, oh, we have the bow! We have the bow and level 3. Bow acquired. I repeat, bow acquired. Ah, uh, 8, level 7, okay. So, from, from the second quest of Outlands, then. Okay. I believe our last drop item in here should be in here. It's a heart. We have two. We had. We had a heart in here. Now that. And SC Knuckles is now picking up their flute. Oh, level two. Why did I think it was level three? Excuse me, I'm going here. I feel like a uh, melee wizard's about to find the their level two. As uh, SC Knuckles heads off to uh, go explore elsewhere, if that new. Now. Hmm. Oh, now here's level three. And then, uh, 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 what's pending on what we find? Right, uh, I see Knuckles came in here earlier and pro uh, died to these, uh, well, not to these particular Stealthos 2s, but to some Stealthos 2s. I believe this is... Isn't this level where uh, Melee Wizard picked up that magic sword? Like, uh... I see Knuckles does not want to leave this behind again. He picked up the compass, so that will let him, uh, that, 
that, that's kind of helpful in the in this game that it'll let them uh, find uh, remember just how many uh, items are in the dungeon. How many? Randomly assigned the role princes. Oh, just dumping that meat on the ground for those mold arms. They love it. Just taking out these fires. SC Knuckles has found a lot of health. The sword your man uh, was ropes pretty. Yeah. up. Have a uh, we have hand we, we have hands don't get grabbed and that's another f feature of these uh, of the random dungeon set is uh well sometimes oh we can't buy that I guess we have too many bombs sometimes when you beat all the enemies in a room a door will just open on the wall. As Knuckles is doing the bubble dance that we all know and, you know, kind of loathe. Oh, hero, uh, hero fire, is there any uh, way for those required steps? Because we know we just we know we need a a hammer. We may not find this that specific hammer for a while, but we know we need a hammer to enter level nine. Is there any sort of like pedestal pole objective that's possible? Killing me that uh. Killing that, uh, Dig Dogger, uh, opened up a door in the wall. Uh, and that, does that require the, uh, magic, so and that requires the, uh, and does that require Triforce? Okay. So they would probably need to kill bosses in order to get it. Yep, they're not gonna hurt from this dungeon. And is going to promptly leave. Now, I believe with those six hearts, he can pick up the power bracelet, guaranteed. As Knuckles is gaining their eighth heart, they're getting very close. being in range of being able to pick up the white, uh, the magical sword item. And going straight back into the... Does he notice? No. He may be here a while. Ah, okay. So that's why they may still pick them up. Sometimes you gotta use that BS uh, as in uh, beta set uh, 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 to tell of you uh, knowledge to uh, remember there could be an item in that starting room. Melee 
is her checking out the desert secrets and finds a rupee. Oh, he also has enough rupees for uh, the hook shot. He could go get that. And so he goes. To, he chooses to start, uh, save and quit, and go back to the start. And so the end. It's in there. Melee wizard picking up a heart container here and checking out this uh, particular location. And it's level 8. And nope's right on out. Okay, now he's striking the statues. Oh, he checked a statue. Ooh. Curiosity Shop has an, a, another book, the Mirror Shield, and another hookshot. I believe that's an even stronger hookshot at that. Now, if he picks up that Mirror Shield, that means it ain't going to be eaten by like likes, and it can reflect whiz rope magic as well as uh, normal fireballs. And the, there's the uh, cross, which we need to be able to see enemies in later levels. Grumble, grumble. And Knuckles is just out of here. Is uh, melee with. Okay. Melee Wizard checking out Death Mountain now. Finds the money-making game. Is Knuckles is now going to hit the forest. Please do not put four headed fire Gleox anywhere near anything. Everything will be on fire, and nothing will. F and everything will be awful. Oh, you know. Do. Blowing up more caves here on Death Mountain, and we find a potion shop. We're getting to that point where potions may not be a bad buy. And Knuckles picking up the letter. And here's level six. It's very much on fire. Ooh, melee wizards are taking a death to blue wizard ropes. Actually, that's the departure from uh, zero two, isn't it? Okay, and we're back out on searching the overworld. Pop in the uh, whistle spot here, and 
a shop. And we have the quiver upgrade right here for 100 rupees. Uh, they're probably not taking it. Melee wizard killing a bunch of ghosts at once in order to get some money. And finds more money under the grave. So will the rest of the uh, more uh, more item rooms and dungeons just be bought? And we have more money. Knuckles picking up a red potion. Find his thirty rupees underneath the rock, or you know, a grave. As it is, we have another heart container up here. It's very interesting that we have an overlap between both runners here. They have been on wildly divergent paths for most of the uh, seeds so far. Just by the nature of the overworld and uh, the game in general. Melee Wizard taking his time to get himself some loot. And finding another shop that he's seen before. What will be in this last gray screen? Oh, or next last. We have more money. Another 30 rupees. This has been a very profitable trip to the graves. Knuckles picking up the uh, quiver boost. I mean, that doubles his arrow count. And those so if he finds silvers, those are pretty powerful. Knuckles back in level three. Still only Still needs to check those statues in the first room in order to get his sword. And we find more money underneath some grass. It's a hundred rupee room. That's pretty good. We may actually see a trip over to, to the curiosity shop soon for a melee wizard. Or he may go pick up the hookshot. We don't know yet. Oh, I mean, the curiosity shop has a hookshot, so I believe uh, either way. Checking out the fairy pond. Which is vanilla level 7. It's, uh, money. And since, uh, melee wizards kept out on money, he's not going to pick up. Uh -huh. We're going to see what the bleak second item in level 3 is. We've already seen the one. We've seen some heart containers, but we haven't seen the second item in here yet. Yep, he's getting that hookshot. And it's, uh, it's a thing. Uh, this is Zelda Classic. Specifically, this is the quest Randomizer Returns. 
which is a uh, randomizer quest that is very interesting. Like, it combines all these... Uh... Melee Wizard re-entering level 3. Probably going to go pick up that item and not be particularly uh, intrigued by it. Yeah, it's not crystals. Yeah, and they're both in level three again. Just Knuckles setting that dragon on fire. As you do. It's been around well over 10 years now. Like, I even think it's been around since early 2000s, hasn't it? are taking out that dragon. Snuckles still hunting for that. Uh, uh. that there's nothing real left in this but uh, they could be hunting in here for a while although I think melee wizards about to st uh, stumble upon the pair I'm on over and yep here he goes he's gonna pick it up nope uh, well maybe he's thinking about it Yep, he's picked it up. And just saving quitting out of here, because he knows he has everything of value from this dungeon. He's out. Never to return. And take a look at his map for uh, empty spaces on it. Because there's only a handful of places left to check. And we still need that hammer, and we still need the silvers. Almost any movement option I can think of is already off the table in level 9, so for uh, blocking act, uh, progress through level 9. Checking out this one last rock spot. It's the money-making game. Ooh, that is true. We need, may need the four-way ladder in order to complete level nine.
My low way wizard trying to pick out uh, pick out uh, these last couple of uh, empty spots down here before he heads north to just clear those out. Enters level five, and uh, we haven't explored this much, so the bot's contents are currently uh, still randomized. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, it'll be fine. And I believe these... Yep, we have Gibdos. Gibdos are down, and Melee Wizard had already taken care of that Gleok in that room, so... And with these arrows, it makes these bunnies much less, uh, you know, lethal. Just give them an... Uh, just give them a ranged hug from a an name. And they are done and dealt with. I believe we have an upgrade in Moldor. Just slightly faster. Not much more of a threat. And we have a and we have a Lure out those traps and take a look. More bunnies. Don't hug these. Okay, okay. Uh, just four directional. A late wizard trying to dodge this one bubble. He, he manages it, I believe? N nope. Has to go, uh... Well, this is just rude. Oh, it is diagonal movement? So we have diagonal movement. Big keys. And we're gonna have to push that blocking in order to get out of here. And we have another Gleok. Say hello to Gleok, everyone. Wizard was trying to hold off on using that key because, again, until we have the magic, keys are very valuable. And this level is Goma Block, so that bow is a pretty big pickup. You know, that is a good question. And if I believe this, if I'm reading this right, I think this is the jar-shaped level, isn't it, Melee? And not Melee, uh, Hero of Fire. But me. Yeah. 
when we finally see it, the full map. Okay. Take out these uh, mummies. Using the power of fire. Nothing better. Dealing with these, uh, dark nuts. <laughs> Maps are right there. And hello, Gugliak. We still don't get to see how many heads you have. That's a terrible shit. are trying to figure out where to go. Leaving level 5. Now, uh, by hitting select, they can see how many overworld items they have found and picked up. And so that level, uh, level now of 18 means there's still seven level, uh, overworld items to find. And yes, this is, a uh, second quest overworld because of that, uh, lake there. Melee Wizard going to fill out the rest of his map, probably. Right. We're still looking for level 4. We've seen six and seven, we've seen five. We've seen three, we've seen two, we've seen one, we've seen nine. I'm not sure if we've seen eight yet. We might have four moments. Finding another uh, amulet shop. The white sword item is the magic key, and we need, I mean, not white sword, uh, the magic sword item is a white key, so we need anywhere between 10 and 14 hearts to get that. And we have found level 4. No, wait, uh, Melee Wizard has found level 8, I remembered. He found it, he looked in it, and he just left. So we have two items in here, and I believe we have everything we need to clear this qu uh, first quest level four, so... We're gonna be in and out, and be done. And I believe this means Melee Wizard has seen all of the uh, dungeons. He probably has no more reason to go check out any other locations having found the magic sword item too.
so we're going to uh, be seeing him just bounce between dungeons at this point, probably. I believe Knuckles has not seen level 4 or 8 yet. It's about to find out what, just how much that hookshot costs. Oh, there's the wallet, just as you mentioned it. So, uh, that wallet is not a problem. <laughs> then yeah, he may still be checking for items on the overworld. There could still be something out there that he needs. Again, melee wizards gain low on health here. Not sure why he's not using the sword. Only in that uh, manhandle and one. Oh, he's. Oh, we have the four way ladder. So, yeah, there's no movement things that could be possibly be blocking the path in level nine now. We just need the hammer and uh, a hammer and. Uh, and the silvers, and we are good to go. So yeah, once he uh, deals with the boss of this dungeon and gets himself a Triforce piece, he'll no longer be jinxed that can use this authority. Knuckles finding out that the magic key is the uh, is the white sword. Uh, the magic sword item. As Smiley Wizard goes in to fight a Gleok in the heart and a half. Just a two pattern one, though. Nothing too threatening. You set that dra dragon on fire. And picking up their 10th heart, they can go check that item again. Only like a 20% chance that it's, uh, that it's at 10 hearts, but it's still a chance. And nope, he does not get it. No, we have a whole bunch of checks along this river here. So we're going to see them. And we have 10 rupees. Because again, because of the wallet being in level four, we know that another item is randomized into the pool of items. It could be the silvers. It could be what the hammer we need. We don't know yet. Even more money. Uh, another old woman with potions. Melee wizard is going to pick himself pick himself up a red one. And going up Death Mountain to check the uh, caves up here. He finds a door repair charge. The whistle on the screen reveals. Just another shop. Well, I want your 
we found our, uh, we found our wood sword cave. As Knuckles is finding their, uh, well, and finding out that there's going to be another item, uh, on the overworld. Another old woman with more... We have one more check up here, right next to Vanilla Level, uh, level First Quest Level 9. It's a money-making game. We do not care. Knuckles picking up their four-way ladder. Be movement blocked and level. It was already possible to be movement blocked in it. Melee wizard breaking out the the flute to go uh, elsewhere. And is it heading into... Well, I think you wanted to head into uh, level B, which is actually level 7 here. Throw down the flame and open and light the way. Finding a five arrow pickup, not even interested. There's the compass. Not quite what we're after. Gonna have to go back around in order to get to that two. That uh, Glayok and what level uh, first class level four only has two heads. transport staircase and where does it lead us to more poles voices hand them out with the sword not wanting to waste the arrows Give those. Don't hug the mummies.
And... There's no hunting for items in here. There's the map. Ooh, these are, uh... Pretty rough, uh, dark nuts. And there we are. This, this is... Very, very small by level 7 standard. Uh, mummies and get out of this room. Looks like we have a uh, heart here. We have a another sword scroll. Melee with uh, hero fire, take it away. That's her second item here. No. So that's all that's all level eight had. Well, that's not level eight, that's level seven. But yeah, that's all level seven had. Whispering and spin attack. And with that, Melee was headed back into level 5, because I believe he still has two items to find here. Knuckles finding another door repair charge. Sweet inner. Silvers are free. I believe that means all Knuckles really needs for go mode is a hammer. The hammer, in fact, that matches that sprite that we saw in level 9. If that hammer is here in level 5, that means both runners have a piece of go mode that the other one has. Kill this Gleok. It's a three-headed one. This shouldn't take long. It's no 20-headed monstrosity. Getting a refund on his arrows from that pole's voice. That's pretty nice. for the hammer. And Melee is still looking for silvers. <laughs> okay, 
by just waiting on this uh, dark nuts to come on over because he does not want to leave his uh, door. You have a potion. Pop a potion. Do not be greedy with those potions. They will save you. his Triforce piece from this dungeon, and... Well, Knuckles is picking up the compass. Is he going to go back in, though? That's the question. It doesn't look like he is. Check. Oh, he has the magic key. We no longer care about finding small keys. We can just open up any door in our way. And now Melee Wizard is back in level 5. Now, what are we hunting for here? We're still hunting for that hammer on Knuckles' side. And we're still hunting for the silvers and that hammer on Melee Wizard's side. Now, Melee has a huge advantage here in that he has that magic. He's no longer worried about, you know, running out keys. Knuckles, on the other hand, is having a very, um... Is going to have to be careful with his key count because he only has the one he just picked up. So he has to make sure whatever door he uses it on, it counts for a lot. Uh, that was the map. We have the wooden boomerang in level 5. Melee wizard says nope to that. Now, if, uh, it takes a closer look at the room he left without bombing, it actually has a adult room right next to it. Everyone is now just looking for a... Uh... Everyone is still looking for that hammer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Knuckles, I think it's about to head into the room with the Gliok. He should be through it pretty fast. If he's just using these, uh... These fires. Just using the peril beam from the door. That's uh, that's pretty uh, safe enough strategy. Just need to realize there is that door, that room right next door here. Melee Wizard is right here, too. Still an item left in here. Yeah, uh, Paul's voices do uh, two hearts damage on a contact, so don't hug them. Congratulations, bot has randomized to the correct. As it turns out, the other item was down here all along. <laughs> it's another sword. are about to check the push bush. Let's find out.
This is not say one at all. Uh, yeah, this is a randomizer uh, returns for Zelda Classic, which is a program that is designed to let you make your own quests for, uh, but you know, play like Zelda One. all these keys we do not care about. We don't talk about those ones. And those polls voices, just to make sure there's no item in there. Finding a, another, uh... It depends on the variety of Paul's voice. <laughs> now, since this isn't Z1 proper, there, I don't think you can actually glitch into those staircases like you can in uh, Z1. an item room, so we're going to see what's uh, in the staircase here. It's a wand. We have more magic. Or... I'll be happy to find uh, this white sword here in level 5.
It's not a sword upgrade. He already has the best sword you can get. Unless there, unless a uh, hero fire included the master sword, in which case. That would be the best sword you can. I do not think level 4 swords are available in this quest. Looks like that hookshot could have been required. Knuckles has a hook shot at this moment. Knuckles taking a death. In fact, deciding to leave level uh, five altogether. Those blues pole voices are very susceptible susceptible to uh, magic. Triforce is not required because what's blocking the entrance to level 9 is uh, the hammer. A hammer.
looks like to me this level 8 is very segmented, even though it doesn't look like it. Because I bet there's another staircase up here that leads it down to those rooms, that's where... Well, he's probably going to start hugging walls soon. Still honey for that second item here in level eight. And he has found the secret wall. Now, what is the item in here? Let's find out. It's it's the hammer. We have the hammer! It's not the right hammer, though. Nope, it's the right hammer. So we have, so level nine here is a giant bunny. character. Melee does not have silvers, and they are the free item in the overworld. 
So he's going to have to go find them if he wants to beat this one. And Knuckles is entering... Oh, hello, Free Enterprise! We're being raided, everyone! Wants to beat this level and beat this game. Now we don't know what the items in level nine are. Could be the the red rain is probably in here though. And if you're all interested, be sure to vote on that straw poll. Pick the hardest character you can. I'm helping. <laughs> Knuckles dying in level six. Not a kind level six. Well, we have found the red candle. It's not what we're looking No, uh, I believe level six is the only other level we have not seen both items in. So, once we know what's in here. That map taunting hero, uh, I mean, melee was heard. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, not quite. Goodness. Hero Fire, where is the second item in uh, this version of level 9? Just for reference. Knuckles taking a death of Wiz Robes in level 6. The question now is which tunic is in which dungeon. I'm hoping for the opposite. taking out these blue wiz ropes so they don't cause any problems when you go check walls. That would make walls.
all's fair in, you know, dungeons and those things. I mean, do you want to deal with blue with his robes Just out there having to fight him? I mean, it's not as bad with fuzzy three style swinging, but there's still blue with his robes. Boomerang, it's the hookshot. Hookshot stuns all enemies. It's black boomerang. It's blue boomerang where you see this seed. Looks like Melee Wizard has found a way to. And this room does require that the four way ladder was required. Knuckles tied back into level 6, hunting for that second item. I have to wonder where these runners think they are at the, any given moment in the seed so far, with how items have shaken out and when they found them. They're both just one item from Gobo, but they're not in where they're uh, looking.
Nothing there. And he was, went down that staircase earlier, so he's just going to go down here and see what's here. Another room that requires the four-way ladder. Doesn't look like he can enter. But wait, wasn't there a staircase right next to there? In that one room with the rose ropes. out and it is another stairway now it leads him to somewhere he has not been yet Any more staircases? Into another corner of the level he has not been in yet. Looks like he's found it. He'll find his item soon and be very and realize he does not ha what he needs is not here. As Knuckles picks up their level six Triforce. With that red mail in the uh, level nine, Melee Wizard finds out that the arrow silvers are not here. That is our armor. That is armor. And immediately finds the silvers. Well, he's going right on. Melee Wizard enters go mode with full knowledge of level 9. All he has to do is get a straight shot to Ganon. A way to get to level... Or that he's checked that island next to level one.
because Melee Wizard is just making a beeline for the end of this seed. Knuckles finally finding the Curiosity Shop and that very, very expensive and probably very required hook shot. And the amulet. And Melee Wizards coming face to face with the pig. Four swings. And an arrow. It's two in. And the pig goes down. And GG to Melee Wizard for coming in first. And this. I think you may be right, but I believe it did expedite, uh... uh why don't we see if Melee Wizard wants to hop in for an interview? He will be in here in just a moment. G. Where are the silvers? We just don't know. Do silvers even exist? Well, first step was for, was the hammer. To just get into nine in the first place. All right, and that was in level eight. Yeah, I am glad that I, I I was tempted to walk out of that one. I'm glad I did. Well, I don't believe they found level 8, though. Yeah, Raft was in 1, so that was pointing me towards that right from the beginning. Uh, I would after seeing the stuff that was in nine, I was tempted to go back to the, the shop in the North, in Death Mountain and get what I'm what I'm assuming was the mirror shield. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that was the mirror shield up there in Curiosity. Okay. And uh, seeing the level two hook shot made me glad I didn't buy the first one. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, that would have felt real bad uh, picking up the level 1 hookshot and being like, here's a better one for basically the same price. Yeah. Oh. And it, it I was tempted, it was a hard decision between that and buying the cross and I think I made the right decision. Because I well, could always come back and get that hookshot later. Yeah, what was your thoughts on seeing the hammer blocking off level? 
Uh, well, considering the last seed I did required all 16 hearts, I figured that was at least a little bit of an improvement. And it looks like Knuckles is forfeiting. But uh, yeah, he, that, he may come in was, and say hello. Yeah, that was a bit of a roundabout one. The fact that the access to nine was an eight, and that was not the easiest thing to find. Just Unless you go out of your way to memorize all of these dungeons. Like, the layout of eight, I recognized it. I didn't know my way around. I couldn't remember my way around that one. Knuckles. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How'd this one treat you? <laughs> it was the hammer that was required to get it. Yes. Where was that thing located? It was in level eight behind a mag uh, behind a fake wall. Uh, I tried to look everywhere. I knew level three was the one that screwed me over the most. And uh, the item you're missing in level three is right there in that first room. It was one of those statues you didn't push. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, one one thing I've noticed is that the if the statues aren't uniform, typically one of them can be pushed. I also thought it was the whole stairs thing we are aware of with the uh, randomization melee, where if it leads one way, it may not lead the other. Um, I thought I'm it may sure. have been that. I'm not sure if that's a thing in this version, but don't quote me on that. Oh, well. oh I thought it was going pretty good with finding all the uh, Triforce pieces and everything. Even though that wasn't needed. Yeah, they, but, but they do they do serve as handy warp points with the recorder. That is something right. I really need to take into consideration. I never yes, used the recorder at all for it. They were uh, they did come in handy. I did grab a couple of them, like particularly the one next to where the magical key was. I having a level four next to that was nice, even if I couldn't grab that one right away. I remember oh. finding I remember finding level eight, and I found nine, but I never found seven. I'm guessing that one wasn't needed at all. Uh, for, I forget what was in seven. Yeah, seven was near the uh, near the coast. Was it was like one spot up? Yeah, from the coast it was. It was. I don't think it was anything super important. Oh, above where the uh, whistle was. Yeah. Ah. Uh, actually, no. The the jinx ring was in seven. That's right. Uh. <laughs> Which uh, I liked was like, oh yes, going back to five. <laughs> oh, I, I have a question for you too, not mm -hmm. uh, related to this, but um, do you guys want to go vote in that poll for the character in Southern Saga? Who? What's your pick? I'm not aware that there was a poll. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Uh, for first character or first second? First. Uh, Starting. If I, if I'm feeling like I want to be mean, Valsu. Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, are you familiar with Seventh Saga Knuckles? Not at all. Okay. Okay, so my, my my recommendation is either you pick Valsu or Asuna. I'll go with my last choice. I believe Valsu was the was the priest, yeah. Valsu is the priest, yes. Okay, yes. So, yep, that's the, that's the one I'm thinking of. Mm. Uh, I, when I I was hoping that the silvers were a nine, but the red tunic was definitely a good consolation prize. Mm -hmm. And then I was was like, oh crap! I was like, I knew I didn't get the items out of six, and so it was either that or in the overworld. And thankfully, they were in the first place I checked after I. Left nine. Uh -huh. I was so th I was so thankful for that. Yeah. Great uh, power power bracelet block naturally. Hmm. I, I mean, you walked right out of nine. Went like, well, it wasn't there, and went over to the uh, push block right below the ferry. And it's like, oh, this was where it was. Oh, well, win some, lose some. It was fun, though. <laughs> yeah, the, having that starting weapon was definitely a new one for me. And yeah. I didn't even realize that I could, like, a, what I could attack with it until I 
because I was still jinxed after leaving five, I was stuck using that going through level four. And it's like, I hope this works against the Gleehawk. And it turns out it does. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I was, that was kind of, that was the home run shot right there. Mm. Well, for anyone who's watching, the program is Zelda Classic, and the quest is Randomizer Returns. There's a whole slew of randomizer quests for Zelda Classic also. And yep, almost that, all of them are by Hero Fire. Yep, man. Yes. Of those, of those uh, Randomizer Returns is the newest one that's out of beta. There's a new one that's in beta right now, but Randomizer Returns is the most recent one that's official. Yes. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Yeah, but I think this one definitely has the most options, though there is one of the older ones where you would have, like, 45 dungeons to, to oh. run through. Newest yeah. one, when it gets out of beta, over 100. As in, like, all at once, or still selected? Every on? dungeon oh, here is known to Every dungeon that has been in any randomizer known to man. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that sounds like a fun time. I I do recommend Mirage Island. It is a good time. Uh, but I think that will do us. Hmm. Melee right. Wizard and Knuckles, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Thank you for letting me be a part of this or a debut. I've never been in the, uh, any of these, so... Yeah, it's, nice like to see, it's nice to see Zelda Classic kind of, uh, get, get the spotlight for something like this. Hopefully more of it will be in. That'd be a cool thing. Just so. <laughs> and I'm much paranoia. I will see you later during the Super Mario Brothers 3 randomizer. And you will be seeing and... me tomorrow morning for Excite Bike and Dragon Warrior. And I'm done here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to send you off and thank you to, to the Seven Saga. And thank you and have a good night.